Thank you for tuning into my channel again. My name is Karen Johnson. This is my channel, Journey of a Child of God. And today I'm super excited to talk to you on this topic. The topic is pruning. Pruning. Now, as a child of God, our King prune us from time to time to make us a better person. Now I want to read the meaning of the word pruning from the dictionary. This is what the dictionary is saying. To reduce especially by eliminating superfluous matter. Another mean, meaning is to cut away what is unwanted or superfluous. So basically it's getting rid of what the unwanted things. Getting rid of it. So as a child of God, if your ways are not perfect, God will prune you so you will get rid of those ways so you can live to please him because indeed that's why we're on this journey to please him now I want to read from the Bible I'm reading from from the modern English version and I'm reading from John 15 from 1 to 5 it says I am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser every branch in me that bear no fruits he takes away and every branch that bear fruits he prunes that it may bear more fruits you are already clean through the word which i have spoken to you remained in me also i remained in you as the branch cannot bear fruits by itself unless it remains in the vine neither can you unless you remain in me i am the vine you are the branches he who remains in me and i in him bear much fruit for without me you cannot do nothing this is jesus speaking and this he was telling his disciples that they must abide in him it's the same thing he's telling us that we have to abide in him and while we abide in him we will bear fruits and while we're bearing fruits he prunes us so we can bear more fruits but did you hear that it says who bear no fruits he takes away so if you're not bearing fruits he cut off that branch so as long as you're abiding in Christ you have to live for him daily it's a daily walk you have to bear fruits and while you are bearing fruits he prunes you so you can bear more fruits and he's telling this this the disciples that they are clean because he gave them the word so no we need to read the word so we can be clean through the word because the word teaches us how to live and when we read the word that's how we will bear fruits because we will know right from wrong by reading the word of god and we have to remain in christ so christ can remain in us so for us to bear fruits we need christ we cannot bear any fruits on our own that is what he is saying this is what he's saying without him we cannot do nothing so it's through christ that we bear fruits now i can't read this passage without read galatians 5 so I want to turn my Bible to Galatians 5 and I'm going to read verse 19. Now the works of the flesh are revealed, which are these, sexual immorality, adultery, impurity, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, strife, jealousy, <gasps> selfishness envy murderer drunkenness my god there's so many different things about the flesh that's not good and while we're abiding in christ if we're gonna live by the flesh then he's gonna cut us off that's what he means when he said if we bear no fruits it will cut off the branch we cannot live in the flesh but we live in the spirit and when we live in the spirit we please god when you go to verse 22 it says but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace patience gentleness goodness faith 
meekness and self-control against such there is no law so these are the fruit that jesus is saying that we must bear and if we're not bearing these fruits he has to cut us off so you have to love that's why he said love your enemy no matter what you have joy you have peace the peace of god oh my god when you have god peace trust me you're able to overcome so many things the word of god said the joy of the lord is my strength can you imagine when you have joy you have strength <laughs> hallelujah and then he says meekness patience wow sometimes we're so impatient i am telling you god can make you do so many things you you don't even imagine you would be able to do patient meekness self-control self-control we really really as a child of god we has to maintain self-control because when we are representing christ so many things can come our way so many things can go wrong but as long as we have self-control we're able to overlook a lot of things you know if you have that perfect peace also in your heart trust me it's hard for somebody to spoil your day <laughs> it's very hard you know i've learned these things over a period of time so you know i'm getting better and better at them and jesus saying says th that if you bear fruits he prunes you therefore you will bear more fruit so what he's saying that you need more self-control you need more patience you need more joy you need more love so he prunes you he prunes you he put you through different different process from time to time to see who truly who you are sometimes satan will come with many many different things too and we have to be able to stand up so we go through a different process all of us our journey is different as a child of god but as long as we remain in the vine trust me we're able to bear the fruit that we're supposed to bear you know I want to use this perfect example diamond and I also want to use gold these are expensive commodities expensive you know I was looking at the price of the diamond blue diamond pink diamond and if I had a blue diamond I could sell it buy myself a, my, a nice mansion buy myself a Mercedes Benz GLS and still have enough money left back to invest into some big business I'm telling you these diamonds they worth a lot of money and I'm telling you the process that a diamond go through it's it's a lot and you have to go under down deep down in the earth to get to these diamonds if somebody wants to search for a diamond they spend days digging digging deep down into the heart to find a diamond and there's no guarantee what diamond you're gonna find there's no guarantee how big the diamond is so maybe you could be spending more money digging down into that earth to find that diamond but it's a chance that we have to take to get to find that diamond but when we find that diamond oh my god chiching more money more money more money but I'm telling you, even gold, well, we have to dig down in the hurt also to find the gold. And when you get to the gold, the gold is mixed with silver, mixed with bronze, it mixed with different, different um, stuff. But you have to purify the gold. So the gold has to, you have to then put the gold through different process, melt it out so that you can... The, whatever other residue will come on top and the gold will settle down the bottom and you can throw it off and then you have to refine it so that there is no other thing in the gold but just gold and then after you finish with the gold you have to melt it again to put it in whatever shape you want it if you want a hard piece of gold you have to make it a heart you have to melt it and make that frame for it to become hard think about my wedding band here it's a circle right and it has some little stones in it so you have to make little different holes for it to get there the, the so many things you have to make just for for it to become like this little little circle thing that it has to be but then when it goes